What's up, my name is Tech Number here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to apply custom skins to Notepad++, not just the ones that are built into Notepad++. To begin, we actually need a skin to install. For this, I'll be installing the pretty popular, and in my opinion, a really great theme called Dracula Theme. Heading across to the website in the description down below, you'll find all of the platforms that they support. I'll be searching for Notepad++ in the list, but of course it's showing up here as their most popular skin. So I'll click it and you'll see a preview of what it looks like. I think it looks really nice. To install it, we don't really need to follow those steps here. All we need to do is go ahead and download Dracula.xml by clicking the link over here. This will take you across to a page on Dracula's GitHub where you'll right click and then click save as, then save it somewhere in your documents, downloads, etc. To actually install it, all we need to do is place it in this folder over here. So I'll select it, right click, and then copy it. App Data, Notepad++, Themes. Hold Start, press R, and inside of this little window over here, paste it in. Hit OK, and a new file browser will open, such as this one here. All we need to do is drag and drop Dracula.xml from our downloads into this new Themes folder over here that we've just created. I, of course, already have it, so I'll replace it, and we're done here. Head into Notepad++ and close it. Then hit start, reopen Notepad++, and then at the very top, head across to Settings, followed by Style Configurator. Then under Select Theme, you'll find Default Styles. Click the drop down, and then we'll locate Dracula. Click it, and the theme will already be applied to our Notepad++. Click Save and Close, and we're done here. I'll open something from my open source project, my Techno account switcher for Steam, etc. As you can see, we already have some themes applied here. Having a look at, say, a CSS file, we have the same thing, and it looks really nice in my opinion. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching. My name's been Techno, but here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!